Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Super Athens here and welcome back to another video on the Super Squad channel where it's today we are doing the Richmond race review and uh, uh, so I mean the racing it was good but then winner not so good. If you're a Kyle Busch fan, I'm sorry, but I just don't like him. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, um, at the start of this race, Harvick was on pole. Um, he led first couple laps, but then Truex passed him. And then basically pretty much nothing that important, I'd say, happened in stage one and two. Truex dominated both stages. Notable things, uh, Chase Elliott did really well in, uh, the what do you call it he got all the way up to fourth in stage one and he started like 18th uh jimmy johnson just got 11th i think and then kyle bush like just stalled in like 15th or something like that denny uh stenhouse uh, hit denny and spun him or he didn't spin him denny somehow saved it so i don't know how which was impressive but yeah so uh, there, they went green, they didn't, they kept going green, there was no caution for that, I don't know why, it should have probably put a caution, but you know, oh well, so yeah, that happened, and yes, Chase got to fourth, uh, Denny, after doing that, he had to pit, that's what I was going to talk about, Denny had to pit, and he somehow got back to ninth after being like a lap or two down or something like that, so um, impressive run for him, I guess, and yeah, pretty much nothing happened in stage one and two. So, uh, final stage, uh, Martin Truex Jr.'s pit crew chokes up, and Chase Elliott now comes out with the lead. Um, he leads the first two or three laps on the restart, but then um, Brad Keselowski passes him, and... Chase is about to get passed by Amarola and Harvick, but then all of a sudden his car just kicks in and he starts flying. Uh, El Elliot eventually takes over the lead and is leading laps, and then green flag pit stop start. The guys behind him pitted like two to three laps earlier, and Chase came out on the pits fifth. No, not fifth. Wait, yeah, he was like sixth when they came out of the pits, like four... No, he was six seconds behind, and he came out, like, fourth or something like that. And, yeah, so uh, he should have put it earlier, and if he did, he probably would have kept the lead, and he most likely would have won. Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe not, but you never know. Um, Jeffrey Earnhardt spun out, and, yeah, not much else happened. Austin Dillon... Ran surprisingly good. People who had bad days. Joey Logano. Ryan Blaney. Clint Boyer. Brad Keselowski. Or not Brad Keselowski. Um, who did I say? Ryan Blaney. Eric Jones. Kurt Busch. Um, Denny Hamlin had another bad day. He's 30 points behind the cut line. I'm pretty sure he's not making it to the round of uh, 12. And, I mean, there's not much else to talk about. Eric Amarola, 5th. Austin Dillon, 6th. Kyle Larson, 7th. Jimmy Johnson, 8th. Brad Keselowski, 9th. Clint Boyer, 10th. So, he came back. So did Jones. 
Alex Bowman 12th, so they, like, regained. Hendrick was mostly running in the top 10 all day, which is pretty good. Chase Elliott was a top 5 car all day. Only thing that sucked for him was his car didn't have speed until, like, 20 to 40 laps. Which is probably why he didn't win, because his car didn't kick in fast enough on speed. He had, like, a really long, long run car. Um, and I mean, there's not much else. This race was pretty bland, but the racing was good. Um, behind the cut line, I'm pretty sure Jimmy's still there. Boyer's there. Jones is there and Denny's there. But yeah, Jimmy had a good race. Um, this is the first time in the season the big three finished one, two, and three. Kyle Busch first, Harvick second, and Martin Truex Jr. fourth. So, I take back what I said about uh, Brad Keselowski making it to Miami. Truex has shown speed all of a sudden now. So, yeah, my final four has changed from Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch, Brad Keselowski, and Chase Elliott to Martin, Martin Truex Jr., Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch, and Chase Elliott. So, that's what my final four is. I still have Chase Elliott sneaking in there, taking the championship by surprise. I've had it like that since before this year, before Chevy started even struggling. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, Cole Custer ran good at first, but then he just fell back. I think that 51 car still got the best finish of their team career whatever thing so good for them suarez was good at first but then he fell back or actually no he started it like in the rear uh byron was never good um mcmurray menard never good so yeah that's basically it for today's video not much else to talk about yeah cool cluster finished 26th so good finish for them aj had a Commitment line violation. I don't know what happened to Regan Smith. And yeah, so that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Stay super and goodbye. See you guys later. Peace.